When you uh, declare variables, uh, you basically designate some space in memory to hold the values that you want to store inside there. And you have to do two things in order to declare them. You have to uh, first specify what type they're going to be, because the type you choose is going to change how much memory is allocated or set aside for uh, this variable. You also have to choose an identifier or a name for the variable. Um, so let's say I wanted to represent some whole numbers. I'm going to use the type int, which is short for integer. And I'm just going to give them some names that sort of indicate that they're values I'm collecting. So I'm going to call them int num1 and int num2. Um, so I can do it like this. I can also, if they're the same type, like these two guys both are integers, I can do this all in one line if I want to uh, by separating them with a comma. And then I don't have to specify that the second one's an integer because you can only do this with values that are going to be the same type anyway. Um, I want to show you something important about creating variables. If I'm creating primitive variables, which is all like the numerical types, like integer and double and long, um, then when I create them, it, it sets the space aside in memory, but there might be garbage in there already. So I don't really know what starting values these guys have. To prove that to you, let me print them out and run this thing. Um, and it's going to complain to me. It tells me that this variable num2 is being used without being initialized. If I ignore that and ignore this num1, same message, then I can see on the screen these garbage values, this negative 85, 899, blah, blah, blah. Um, that's because I didn't specifically put anything in there. So if I want to know what I'm starting at, then I should initialize these guys. And that's a good practice to do whenever you're creating primitives. Um, is to set them equal to a starting value. It wouldn't really matter if you were going to immediately ask the user to input a value into that variable. Um, it can only be a problem when I try to do math on something later and I've, I've failed to initialize it, so I don't know what I'm starting with. And then it can be a problem. So if I do that, now it's not going to complain any longer. And I'm going to get numbers I know are in there out on the screen, so 0 and 0. Okay, so that's why you want to initialize uh, numeric values.